All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Joe's Video Games. You can see all of our games at lionsarcade.com. And if you're wondering why there's two different names like that, Joe Lyons is the proprietor, uh, as long well as his brother, Ronnie Lyons. So Lyons Arcade, that's our last name. And Joe's Video Games, that's Joe's first name. So now you know. What we like to do is videotape a lot of cool arcade games or video games that we get in. We've been running through a lot of uh, famous arcade games lately, so we figured we'd film several of them. And we haven't made a video showing you what an original 1980 Atari Centipede looks like. So today's the day. We just finished this up. This is an original Atari Centipede cabinet. Still working. Still playing. And uh, this is a real classic, so we figured we'd videotape this one just to show you what Centipede was like. So, like I said, this came out in 1980. Atari had been around for probably 10 years by then, but the, one of the interesting things about this game is that it was the first game that a lady designed. So, that's kind of its uh, trivia bit there. This is a pretty nice example. There's a couple different versions of this, actually. Uh, the art was a little different on some of them because they were made at a different location, but this is the more common one that everybody's seen. And so what we do is we buy games that are broke, we fix them up, get them working good again. And this is certainly no exception. This one's looking good and working good. I'll show you the side art. It's really cool. So back in the day, this would have been what you dropped quarters into. Nowadays, people buy them for their homes, though. So uh, some people still operate them, but usually whenever we sell them, it goes into a game room. Check out that side art. That's awesome. I'll show you on the side. There's a little bit of wear so you can see it. At first glance, these things look brand new, but if you know what to look for, you'll see a few little flaws. But... So if you look close, you can see where that's been gouged a little bit. But all in all, it looks really nice. And this is original. That's the original side art that's 35 years old now. So cleaned up really well. Looks really cool. And a lot of people have fond memories of playing this back in the day. We put a new control panel overlay on it and a new trackball. Check that out. Nice and smooth. Works great. Atari had these cool little buttons. Let's check out the start buttons. A lot of the Atari games had this. They had a little LED in them that would blink. They call those cone buttons or volcano buttons. Just because of their shape, of course. But check out the artwork on these, these things. Atari really made really cool machines. They just, they look great and they play great. And this was a fantastic design. There's your instructions. Shoot to destroy advancing creatures for points. Because you guys have never played Centipede, right? You don't know about this, right? I'll just read what it said back in the day. Collisions with any creature will destroy you. In a two-player game, players alternate until the supply of lives is exhausted. Hold fire button down for repetitive fire. And then you got the little guys over here, and it shows you what points you get. You can see if the centipede thing has eyes on it, you get 100 points instead of 10 points. So one way to make more points is to actually just shoot the first part of the centipede. And then the next segment will turn into the first part, so you can get 100 points instead of 10 points. And there's the spider. Everybody hates the spider. So anyway, this was a nice, clean, original Atari centipede. I figured I'd videotape it a little bit if you haven't seen one. and. 35 years. Here's a cool one. Like I said, we buy games. A lot of times they're broken and we'll fix them up. And then we sell them to people for their home game room. So whenever you see this video, this game may already be sold. So on YouTube, we're not really trying to sell them to anybody or anything. We're just trying to document them so that if you're thinking about buying one or you always wondered how this looked up close or if your memory of how the game looked or played uh, had changed over the years, now you can see how a 35 year old one works and plays. And so what I'll do now is I'll turn off the uh, camera and then I'll, whenever I come back I'll be filming uh, me playing a couple rounds so you can see that. All 
All right, folks, we're back. Pardon the quality of the camera. I don't know if how good that's going to pick up, but I'm going to go ahead and film it, and uh, we'll figure it out later. But here we go. This thing is on free play, so I'm going to go ahead and start and try not to knock the camera over while I'm playing. On this game, you can just hold the uh, button down to continuously fire. But as you can see, you can only have one shot on the screen at one time. And if you, little thing about the spider, if you wait till he gets real close to you, you get more points. If you shoot him while he's up in the air, you get like 300. If he's down closer, you get either 600. Or if he's really close to you, you get 900. Those guys that fall, the reason they fall is because there's not enough mushrooms at the bottom of the screen. See how I got real close to him and gave me 900? So see how that one mushroom's over there on the side? It's in like the player's uh, area. If I shoot and get rid of that mushroom, one of those things will fall from the, uh, the flea will fall from the sky to replace it. See? And the reason that that's important is because you get more points if you shoot those things. notice how that one fell faster but it's because I shot it once it takes two shots to hit them if you only hit them once they fall really fast until you hit them the second time or they hit you I'll see if I can wing one again When the, see, the, see how those uh, mushrooms that went blue? Once that little thing goes across and turns those solid like that, as soon as the centipede hits one of those block, one of those mushrooms that's been turned like that, it makes them fall completely to the bottom of the screen. So watch, if you watch at the top, you'll see him do it. There he is again. And so you want to get rid of that guy as soon as you can. You get a thousand points for him for one, but also he screws up the entire. He screws up the entire setup whenever he uh, 
hits the mushrooms because it makes it where the uh, centipede will fall all the way to the bottom. Oh. Last little thing, whenever you get a high score, the game had these really cool little EPROMs that will save uh, the top three high scores. So the top three, it'll save even after you turn it off. Uh, four, five, six, seven, it deletes. So there you go. A little bit of Centipede. You can check out the rest of our video games at uh, lionsarcade.com. And uh, stop by sometime. We're in Rock, downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, just below Charlotte, North Carolina. See you soon.